What do mangoes, oranges, and carrots have in common? If you guess they're all orange in color, you're right. But they're also the ingredients in the recipe I'm about to show you. A recipe for a frozen snack I've named the Mango, Orange, and Carrot Fruit Pop. Let's get started. So the first thing you're going to need is one and a half cups of diced mango. And this can be either fresh or frozen. And then followed by a half a cup of orange juice. And then last but not least, to give it that nice, beautiful orange color, you're going to add half a cup of carrot juice. And we're going to put this all in our beautiful blender here. So first thing is going to be the diced mango. Use our spatula here. Followed by the orange juice. And last but not least, the beautiful orange carrot juice. And then you're going to give this about a pulse for 15 to 20 seconds in your blender here. Next, I'm going to show you my favorite popsicle mold. Now, there's an important part about the mold is the prawn here, which when the popsicle freezes, this freezes to the actual liquid so that it will stay here and keep your hands from getting all messy. So we're going to take the mixture out of the blender and we're going to take off the tops. And it just smells really good. I can smell that carrot juice in there. And then you're going to slowly pour the mixture right in, filling all the way to the top so that prawn really gets attached to it. Now, if you get a little messy, it's okay. You should always keep a side towel on your station for quick spills. And then you're going to insert the prawn right into it, making sure that it gets down there nice and secure. And then you're going to place them in the freezer for three to four hours until they're frozen. So these are the popsicles after they come out of the freezer, frozen for about three to four hours. So how to release the popsicles from the molds, either you can run them under hot water or you can have a bowl of hot water at your kitchen table and then you're just going to dip the molds in there for maybe 15 to 20 seconds just to release the actual popsicle from the mold. Make sure you have a towel on your table and then we're going to, voila. Mmm, delicious.